We've also issued a disaster declaration in California in response to the devastating wildfires like we've never seen. And we mourn the terrible loss of life. We have FEMA and first responders there. We have our military helping. It's uh, very sad to watch uh, how fast, how rapidly they move and how people are caught in their houses. It's an incredible thing, caught in their houses. So uh, we have a lot of people helping government in California and uh, made a lot of progress in the last couple of days. But uh, we're a little subject to winds and, and what happens with nature. But it's, a, it's been a, uh, it's a very, very sad thing to watch. Mr. President, do you approve of Steve Bannon's war on Mitch McConnell and the Republican establishment? Well, Steve is very committed. He's a friend of mine, and he's very committed to getting things passed. I mean, look, I, I have, you know, despite what the press writes, I have great relationships with actually many senators, but in particular with most Republican senators. But we're not getting the job done. And I'm not going to blame myself, I'll be honest. They are not getting the job done. We've had health care approved, and then you had a surprise vote by John McCain. Uh, we've had other things happen, and uh, they're not getting the job done. And I can understand where Steve Bannon's coming from, and I can understand, to be honest with you, John, I can understand where a lot of people are coming from. There are some Republicans, frankly, that should be ashamed of themselves, but most of them, I tell you what, I know the Republican senators, most of them are really, really great people that want to work hard and they want to do a great thing for the American public. But you had a few people that really disappointed us. They really, really disappointed us. So I can understand fully how Steve Bannon feels. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.